That more infectious UK variant has health authorities across the country on alert. Six people in the valley have contracted that strain, and scientists are tracing if more people have caught it through or sewage. It's a project through the UNLV School of Medicine, and their initial findings show that it could be more prevalent than we know. We have preliminary data suggesting that it's already here in the wastewater. The search starts in the sewers. Who else in the valley could have that more infectious UK strain of the coronavirus? And where? This is a picture of um, uh, the RNA material that's amplified. The round-the-clock research happens in the UNLV Lab of Neurogenetics and Precision Medicine with a team of staff and students. This is how our wastewater will come. Putting our sewage water under a microscope. The Southern Nevada Health District has confirmed a total of six cases of the UK variant connected to patient number one, a Las Vegas woman in her 30s. The team here suspects there could be more. The virus is shed um, from fecal matter. <laughs> And all of us, as expected, use the, use the bathroom. And therefore, if we're infected, we're going to be shedding the virus into, um, into the sewage. So the wastewater samples have um, predicted that people um, have this variant. If it's in the wastewater, what does that mean? It means that, um, that this is um, this is a lot more prevalent. The presence of this variant is a lot more prevalent than 1, 2, 10, 100 people. The team gets samples weekly from at least nine locations across the valley. We've seen um, this variant show up in at least four or five uh, locations. Professor Edwin O can't share where exactly in the valley the variant has surfaced. The team is working to confirm their data, then share it with local health authorities, who then can notify the public. But the reality is, if you see it in um, um, those few numbers, um, chances are it's going to be in a lot more people. And the wastewater um, gives us that opportunity to, um, to, to get closer to what that number might be. In the long term, this is a surveillance program. We fully expect um, this virus to mutate, not if this happens, when this happens. We want to be sure that these surveillance programs are in place. Well, the lab is also on the lookout for the South African and Brazilian variants. The team has not yet detected those.